It is the 7th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start off on SOP.net. Strong winds create rare reverse Sierra wave over California. After a chilly start to our day, light winds and clear skies should, have, should leave us once again in an inverted state. High temperature up at Lake Tahoe probably are going to be as warm, if not warmer, than what we will get here in the valley. On Monday, a strong easterly flow up in the mountains created a rare reverse Sierra wave. Usually when we talk about the wave, it happens on uh, the Pacific coast of the mountains when strong west or west or southwesterly winds create a standing wave. But as the satellite picture above, I will attach a link of course, shows the exact opposite happened early Monday morning and the strong east winds created at Sierra Wave on the west side of the crest, a rare sight indeed. And could the Dead Sea completely vanish? Um, basically they're saying due to over water usage into this small um, saltwater sea, but they're saying it, that historically it's dried up uh, completely before in the past, uh, almost as early well, like it once did when it did so almost entirely more than a hundred thousand years ago. Uh, and that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the extinction protocol, we got extreme weather in Australia, Perth. Uh, creates havoc. They had to shut the airport down. The weather was so bad. Uh, delayed flights. Uh, 12,000 12, homes across Western Australia are without power. And uh, the war uh, sabers rattling. Da, 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 the economy falling. And a uh, 5.1 magnitude earthquake rattles Western Australia. Uh, this was at 3 a.m., I believe, uh, their local time back on the 6th. And this is in a rare spot uh, near one of their heart facilities, according to uh, Whether or Not. He put out a video on this, I believe, almost two days ago. It's just now hitting the extinction protocol. Over to the RSOE today. Uh, not a lot new going on. I got a big snowstorm in the United Kingdom, multiple areas, England, North, and Scotland. Of course, the landslides in Colombia. Big cold wave in Canada, big surprise this time of year. Uh, snowstorms in New Mexico, El Paso. Um, and a town, a Union Town in Kentucky, uh, declared a state of emergency because their uh, pumps um, they used to drain the rainwater away past the levees, both of them failed and they got like two inches of rain in an hour and it's just been raining ongoing. They managed to get one of the pumps going, um, but they're still having problems getting the other one going and they're saying they're, they're hoping for not a lot of rain because right now they, they're saying one pump should make sure none of the houses get destroyed, but they did declare an emergency. And uh, uh, let's just go to the nuclear stuff. Um, RSOE is reporting a non-categorized event at Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota. Uh, apparently a crew was moving an inter inter intercontinental ballistic nuclear missile uh, from one side to the next. Something broke off of it. Uh, the Air Force isn't like, saying exactly what, and I don't blame them. Uh, apparently it was serious enough they had to call for an evacuation of the area just to make sure it was safe. And uh, they didn't want to report it to the public, but... Uh, I, I believe this was like a week ago that this happened. So that's just now coming to surface. Um, I'm going to take you to a website, Breaking News Fukushima Diaries. Uh, incinerated ash of over 100,000 becquerels per kilogram is allowed to be dumped into landfills. Ministry of Environment is going to legalize dumping incinerated ash, which is over 100,000 becquerels per kilogram into landfills. They are allowed to dump incinerated ash of 8,000 to 100,000 becquerels into landslides since this June. Now that they have legalized it, there would be no limit to the levels of contaminated incinerated 
landfill in what is Japan. And they're talking about dumping all the contaminated soil into the Pacific Ocean. you got to remember this, uh, the Tokyo landfill is literally in Tokyo Bay. So Japan has become this big radioactive tea bag, and uh, we're all waiting for these reactors to melt down. Uh, they had some other stories uh, over on their daily news. Fukushima local government only check 2.9% of all the rice. Radioactive fallen leaves in Tokyo. Plants tend to catch plumes. Tokyo metropolitan government measured radiation of fallen leaves, and it turned out that they were all ir irradiated expectedly. In the season, people burn fallen ash leaves. At school, they even force students to bake sweet potatoes by burying fall by burning falling leaves. Now we confirmed that is very risky, uh, considering the risk that we breathe the crashed. They're incinerating the garbage. They're burning their leaves. <sighs> 50 out of 87 green turtle eggs were deformed. Sea turtles are acting strange. Uh, the chairman of Sea Turtle Association of Japan found 50 of 87 green turtle eggs were deformed. Normal eggs are 4, cent four centimeters in diameter, but the deformed ones are 6 centimeters in diameter and various width. The smallest egg was only 1.5 centimeters in diameter, and they were deposited early in the morning. So, uh, actual Fukushima worker talks. Water purifying system has never worked. And uh, over to ENE News. I'm just going to read a few of the headlines. Uh, SMH. Too late to flee Fukushima fallout? Refugees discuss bizarre rashes. Doctors talk of purple spots. Concerned about Tokyo radiation. And the APF, Tokyo says water with high levels of strontium le leaked into the Pacific. Now they're only admitting to 150 liters. <sighs> Nuclear expert took. Uh, TEPCO is admitting they are very close to China's syndrome at Fukushima, where melted fuel penetrates the earth. And they have a video on that as well. And you got to remember, TEPCO isn't using real numbers. Uh, they're using Westinghouse computer models and uh, reporting on that. This is how it should be going on, everybody. See, the book says so. That is about all I have for you tonight. Um, of course, I missed anything. Please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Um... I just wanted to share. I, I, I worked all day. Um, oh, here. I did some outside Geiger um, background radiation. And I am logging the barometric pressure now. I'm using uh, Weather Underground um, as a reference uh, for my Des Moines area because I do not have my own um, barometer um, yet. But I will get to that as I can as budget entails. Um, like I said, I, I was at work today and... <sighs> I was told I'm no longer to, to discuss political issues. It's distracting. Uh, so I spent the day talking about the biggest loser in football games. <sighs> you just can't win. Anyway, um, enjoy what you can, everybody. Uh, I hope you have a better day than I did. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.